Hey, what is up guys, it's your boy Twa here. It's been a little bit since I posted anything regarding T4, but here we are because I had still a few things left. So without further ado, let's get into it. But not before I tell you guys, obviously it's not my content. Please go down into the description. If you like the content, please make sure to give some likes, some subs to the ones who have made these contents and made this possible. So we start off with something that I didn't really find anything about and that is Slayer. From the looks, it looks like this is Punisher Slayer. And for what I can tell, the whole community, Korean community just does not like it Slayer anymore. There is a very low percentage of people that actually tune into the art passive as to even trying this stuff out. I do however gotta say that the raw stinger skill, oh that, that one took a special place in my heart. However, not having your predator slayer with the ability to get out of your identity skill is probably one of the most obnoxious things, but look at that damage, 1.7 million. So is this by any means good? No, we've seen a lot better so far already, so Meh, I don't really, I don't really know. Let's just get to the thing that really matters. Oh, Rosin ass. Yeah. I, I, I honestly gotta say, I really like the looks of it. True question is, did we get on the board? Yes, sir. We got ourselves a, but honestly, let's face it, with the differences in gear, the chances of you finding yourself a video where people will get Cruel Fighter is very high likely because the difference between having our passive or not is substantial. Next one, coming up, Gravity Training. Ew. Now, obviously, if he opens up its damage right when he pops the second skill, that is a little bit cheating. But I gotta say, in terms of its rotations, it really does look nice. Ew. It looks fast as hell, except for this one. Ooh. There we go. T skill. Lots of damage, but it's not about the damage for what it seems. It seems more to be about getting yourself fully onto that gravity training. And then once you're done, one of the best hyper awakening skills, in my opinion. But ladies and gentlemen, what better than seeing this in an actual raid where we get to bonk the head. Where's the T skill? No T skill required. We're waiting. We're waiting. Here we go. <laughs> Nearly 400 million per slap. Damage is going up. I don't know why, but we'll take it. Ugh. But the thing that we truly want to see, we need to stomp the lights out of this dragon. Handy. Eh. Oh, 2.5. That is ridiculous. Another one that we haven't showcased yet is Esoteric Striker. And this is one that I actually play. But the real question to me was, why is it still having this T-Skill? Because I still believe that, well, this is not the T-Skill that it's supposed to be. Else, I want to see its damage. Please, hit him. Oh, oh. And hit him with nearly six Hondo on a singular T-Skill. That looks quite good. And the cooldown itself is pretty neat. I love it. I gotta say. The cutscenes on this thing are absolutely mad. Ew, I haven't missed this guy one bit. Hit him with it. Ew. We got some Thor in the building. Can we cook him up? It looks like you're supposed to run in there, but they don't. Ew. Hit him with it. 1.5, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Roar! Hit it! 1.6. Ooh, not 1.6. 2.6. That looks quite ferocious. I gotta say, if I had to pick, I would always pick that tiger. It looks so good. But as for Esoteric Striker, that hits a 1.1 million on a Lightning Tiger Strike. That seems pretty good. 
and I gotta say, this is probably one of my most favorite videos that came out of this week's tea compilation. Uh, this is both a Surge Deathblade and a Hunger Reaper. And my dear lord, this guy is duoing Hanumatan challenge mode and he is cooking. Oh my dear, no, we're, we're dashing, we're canceling, uh, we'll go back, Surge in the building. <laughs> Oh, this is this is skills. Oh, jump over that attack. Yep, repositioning, no problem. And this is why I ultimately love the classes that I play. They have so much mobility. This is exactly why I play both of these classes. It is nuts, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, scoop them up. Now, definitely check out this guy's channel down below into the description because man you you, you want to watch this whole video uh, uh, uh. next up pinnacle uh, glavier and i gotta say uh, even though this class uh, is quite caca we 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 haven't showcased it yet so let's see 1.3 lt skill this is i don't like it skill man i i i genuinely don't i what do you guys think about pinnacle glavier ladies and gentlemen because let's face it this is just yeah and apparently this guy is duoing the living hell out of Theomine. Now, this is not one of the first videos where we have seen this, but it is definitely worth checking this out because guess what? Apparently it is possible. So for all of you bosses out there, there you go. Glavier can do it too. But you know I cannot skip it. You know I can skip this one. Oh, 9.8. Oh, hit him in the back. Hit him in the building. We got 33 million left. Oh, Hyper Awakening should probably kill this at one go. <laughs> Damn, six. What? This is probably one of the highest that I've seen so far. What a monstrosity, ladies and gentlemen. He nearly nicked down half of his HP that was still left. Another one that I wanted to showcase was a Soul Eater and not the Full Moon but the knight's edge one because let's face it on paper it looks pretty decent and i don't know whether this will be very good in comparison full moon is eating so well in the tier 4 patch but this class has issues because let's face it okay we go into the the reaping whatever the hell mode and let's see if we can get both the z button up there we go t skill i don't Oh my god, that is pfft, so nutty. There we go, Z skill out. Had to probably cancel it. I'm not quite sure if he got all the hits out of it. So there we go, full rotation in. So technically plausible, but then let's see if we can do it another time. There's one, almost. We gotta wait until purple skills come up. Here we go. One, two, three. Here we go once again. One, two, three skills. And oh, wait a minute. We're phasing. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the reasons why I am not sure whether Knight's Edge is good. Because this is not the only time in the video where this happens. This happens ever so often. Now, obviously, a lot can change because the T skill cast time reduced onto the Brushaza patch as well as the cooldown will be reduced. 32 second reduction, what the hell? Now let's say if we run this back, T skill, one minute cooldown, make that 32 seconds. If they will lower that by a significant amount, I would feel that that is nasty. I wonder, however, like if you can get yourself more swiftness, more cooldown for that matter, whether it helps you into playing this class even faster, ladies and gentlemen. But ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have enough paladins, we need more DPS paladins. Ugh. This is one of the craziest videos I made to date. It's even better than the breaker all video. Here we go. Oath. Clock him in the mouth. Swings everywhere. Oh. As lightning. As holy. It is all that. Ugh. Nobody needs a Bible for this. Pun intended. Anyhow. This is ridiculous one single stagger and they are cooking up what it looked like 200 bars of it 
It is so nasty. We got Conta in the building and the rest is history. But this is an hyper awakening yet. Let's go. We got 103 bars. <laughs> we got sorting ass. Ew. 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 We need another one. On the replay. <laughs> and we got his own. And it's... <laughs> Not even connecting because it's already dead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think that will wrap it up for the T4 compilation so far. However, once the Brochaza patch will hit, a lot of things will change. I will, however, make a video on the tier list on the current winners of tier 4, with already going over a few speculations on what might change within the future. Now, once again, if you like this one, please like a sub for me. But most of all, go down into the description, check out the videos, check out the channels of these people, and make sure to give them some love. Once again, this was Swebby. Peace.